get ready for two weeks at the happiest place on Earth. Tijuana! Yay! All right, you guys. Today we're going to be focusing on work visas. Okay, let's say we start from scratch. I want to. I don't. I don't have a job. I want to move to Mexico to work. Okay. Before you do so, you can go either online on the Mexican uh, embassy website, or find your, your nearest embassy, and you're gonna have to submit a request for a work visa. They actually don't have too much requirements. All you need to do is fill up, fill out a form, and you need to provide what kind of you need well, proof of your qualifications. In other words, are you a certified welder, certified nurse? And um, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you already have uh, applications you want to apply for, you need to you know, also um, submit those. But this gets us to part two. If you, all, if you already have uh, a job at a company and they want you to go to Mexico to, I don't know, train people, do a certain job for them, then that's different. So this company will have to sponsor you. Dougie, you're going to need the following. A letter of your employer um, stating that they will sponsor you and provide medical services. Also provide documentation of how long you're going to be staying there. Uh, what kind of job offer are they offering you? You will also need to provide your passport, which should not expire in the next six months. You need to take a medical exam to make sure that you meet the requirements to do the job. Once you arrive to Mexico, you need to register with the local authorities. Your employer should provide a guidance for that. That's pretty much it. And if you plan to stay beyond that period, you may need to renew your visa. That's it. For work visas, it's not really much information, but hopefully it's useful for you guys. Um, I'll be making more videos. Stay tuned for more bomb videos. Bomb up vlogs.